So we're looking at problem uh, 10.61 from uh, University Physics uh, 14 uh, edition. So this problem uh, involves a row of paper uh, with an applied force uh, pulling on it. And the row of paper is in contact with a wall. And so the problem asks us to uh, determine the um, the tension force uh, on the bracket uh, which holds the, this roll of paper and also the, uh, the angular acceleration of, the, of this uh, roll of paper. Okay, so um, here's the uh, problem 1061 uh, from uh, University uh, Physics. Uh, so what we have here is um, a uh, Roll of paper uh, against a, a wall here, and there's a bracket that holds the um, uh, connecting rod that goes through the center of this uh, uh, roll of paper. And the uh, the bracket uh, makes uh, an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the to the vertical. And there's an applied force that would uh, pull on uh, this uh, roll of paper. Uh, so he, here's a, a diagram, uh, kind of like a three-dimensional diagram of the um, of the situation. So you have the rod that goes through the <clears throat> center of this uh, roll of paper, and then you have two supporting uh, uh, brackets. And uh, part A of this problem is to find the tension force um, uh, on the bracket. Uh, so we have uh, here illustrated uh, the forces acting on this, uh, on this diagram here. Uh, so we have the applied force F, uh, the weight of the, um, of the roll of paper, and uh, as well as the force of uh, friction, force of kinetic friction. And so here's the free body diagram that illustrates this, uh, all these forces uh, together with the normal force. So we have the normal force uh, coming from the wall the wall is going to exert a, a normal force. Uh, we have the weight, the weight again here. The applied force F, this is an external outside force that would pull on the roll of paper uh, to try to unroll the paper. And of course, we have the force of friction and then the tension force. So the, the main, main part here for this problem is to try to get the direction of the friction force uh, correct. So the, the way is. Uh, illustrated here, the friction force is downwards um, coming from the wall, so uh, acting on the on the roll of paper. So why why is this? So why why isn't the friction force going the other way, uh, that is pointing upward instead of pointing downward? Well, the reason is uh, it's fairly simple. It uh, has to do with uh, Newton's law of uh, action and reaction, uh, Newton's red law. So as the paper um, as the uh, the force F applies to Try to turn the roll of paper. Uh, it also uh, pushes against the wall. So, as the paper uh, roll of paper turns, let's say in this uh, case here, in the clockwise direction, then uh, the the part where the paper uh, is in contact with the wall, it also pushes against the wall. So, the uh, according to Newton's third law of action and reaction, if there's a force, there's going to be a reaction force. So, as the uh, roll of paper pushes against the wall, the wall is going to uh, correspondingly apply a uh, reaction force. And this reaction force uh, uh, shows up as a, as a, as a, as a force, of, uh, as force of friction. So therefore, the friction force is drawn in this, in this, uh, in this direction and not uh, pointing uh, upward. So all in all, so we have all these forces uh, with the free body diagram. And so we got, because this is a static situation, so we're going to um, uh, add up all these forces and then uh, to try to find the, uh, the, the tension force.